that was a tough welding job. Well, in this video, one of the first questions that is going to be answered that you're probably wondering about is, what is welding rod? Welding rod is the rod that makes a bead of metal using electrical currents coming from the welding machine. When you get finished welding, your product should look something along the lines of like this or like this. This specific joint that I actually welded a couple days ago um, is called a corner joint. This is the inside weld and this is the outside weld. Um, these welds were also done with, the inside welds were done with um, 7018 and they're a little bit of a fatter bead than the uh, 6010 which is on the outside of the joint. The second question that's going to be answered in this video is what are the components of a welding rod? Well a welding rod is made up of two parts um, it's actually the actual metal and the flux coating. The metals can vary from mild steel, cast iron, stainless steel, high tensile steel, copper, bronze, brass, or aluminum. The metal is then wrapped in the flux coating that um, has blends of cellulose, which is used in plants to give them flexibility, um, iron powder, and hydrogen. It is actually also blended with some sodium, titanium, and potassium. The flux coating makes the electrical currents flow more evenly during the weld and actually have to use the third question that's going to be answered in this video is, how does it work? Well, in welding class, they teach you a couple different things, such as the, what the ground plug is. And the ground plug is um, what you hook onto your table um, from the welding machine so that you can arc your weld. And then you have the stinger or electric electrode holder. Um, it holds your rod in there so um, when you strike an arc, um, that's how you get the bead and then the electrical current comes from the welding machine and you have it set at certain different amps and for like 6010 you use um, about 90 to 95 range in the amps and then for 7018 um, you probably use like 120 to 125 depending on how fast you want to go. Um, uh, when you strike an arc um, it then um, melts the metal and the flux and you just go along and you make your bead and you can use a weaving pattern which means you go back and forth like this or you can use um, a whip which you go back and forth like this and um, it, um, it makes your beads turn out pretty like such like something like this which this was a 6010 weld and this was a 7018 weld um, this also was a 718 weld. And then when you're done, you just lift your metal off the, or your rod off of the metal. And then you'll have the flux on there, so you'll have to take a chipping hammer and chip it off. And then you'll have a pretty bead that looks like that again. The third question that you're probably wondering about is, how is chemistry involved? Well, when you're welding with a welding electrode on a specific piece of metal or an electrical current coming from the welding machine to the rod holder, it goes to the grounded out area which you are welding, which is probably your welding table, to the rod, um, and then it heats up and melts the rod and the flux creating a bead. The bead then solidifies on the base metal, holding the joints together, and um, that's how you get your bead. There's nothing too specific or too hard about it, it just takes a lot of practice. 